Hi, this is Brinkcoin. Like, comment, subscribe. So this box kind of has a three-piece video. Um, go look at the video to say coin roll hunting fooled, coin roll hunting fooled two, T O O. Um, I'm gonna show you that's the end of the box and why I have these um things here. So. But bad finds is overall maybe six, seven times now. I found these fake silver is what I call it. Maybe not even fake silver. Um, some coin roll hunter decided to paint the edges of these coins. So when you take it next to a real coin such as this one, because this is what I found in 1966, I found one, a real one. If you look, what does it look like? Especially from far away. I mean, you could kind of tell the difference. Real one's a little bit more dirtier. But, you know, it looks like three silver coins, right? To a point, right? Like, I mean, look at the far one. The middle one, mm, give and take. But, Say so, and it'll be more apparent when I show you in a roll, which I guess I'm going to do. So I found one good one, seven to eight bad ones, and another guitar pick. So obviously, I can tell you, um, this box got picked over really bad. I don't know if someone hand rolled them or not. Maybe you missed one. But, yeah. And I was always wondering why these guitar picks end up in here. Thinking that guitar pick would be kind of expensive. They're not. You can actually get a 100 piece guitar pick on eBay for 99 cents. And if you put them in to parole, you're saving yourself a dollar. You do it 100 times. Yeah. You, you're saving a couple of dollars. So, I think this is a poor way. I think this is really scummy. I understand you're robbing the banks and all that, but now you guys want to see the good stuff. So, you want to see the magic of these, right? So, yeah, this video is going to be a little bit long, so bear with me. So, this is a roll so, of copper. A normal roll, kind of. Maybe it's going to be hard to tell with a reflection. I think it will be. Maybe I won't do it with it. It's going to be hard to do it one-handed, though. So. So. You got to roll, right? You see a lot of copper, right? Probably looks something like this, very right? similar, right? So. I'll put that down. I'll put this down. Yeah, I dropped some, I know. Um. Yeah, I gotta mix this up fast. Otherwise, it's gonna be a long video. And we're gonna go and put some of those down. We're gonna put this. And now watch. So when you go look, if you go look, you could almost see, like, you could almost see them. They stick out so well, you know? From far away, you can just tell. Even closer up, you can tell. I mean, and some were painted better than others. These are not even the best ones painted. The best ones painted fooled me multiple times so where's the real silver it's somewhere at the top here i think it's this one so let me see i think it's yeah that's the real one right there fake one right in the center and our fake one on the end when you hold them slightly you can tell the difference but holding them together Fake and fake, and you can barely see the real one. 
So yeah. That's my overall video for this box. Really crummy. But hey, good lesson for you guys to learn out there. I've always thought about doing this myself. Now to get payback what I thought about painting the edges silver. What do you guys think? Let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. At least I got one out of this box. Peace out. Have a nice day. Bye.